Hello, Brenton with All Octane here. In this video, I am going to open up some of the brand new Matchbox moving parts that I was able to find on the pegs. So this recent set, including the Drag Beetle, the Mercedes, the Pickup, the 4GT, the Morris Minor, and the Porsche, these were all found on the same day right off the pallets, right off the pegs at a Target with my fellow collectors Alex and Larry. You guys might have heard those on my channel before. Larry and Alex are two of my good friends in the collecting world and we all met up at a Target to go hot wheel hunting and we found stuff right off the pallet or right off the pegs. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up those, but I did find three other ones from another pack, which included this BMW. So we've got the 2016 BMW i8. This car is really cool. This is probably the better casting that they've done. I think the first one they did was like in blue and it didn't quite do it justice. Sometimes the moving parts though, I really like the moving parts cars because I think it kind of is the better value, but sometimes the fit and finish isn't always the best. In this case, that does a lot better than the blue one they used to have. Although the paint doesn't quite match, as you can see on camera, the plastic doesn't quite match the metal but it's still pretty cool, nice bronze wheels nonetheless. Next up is the 1950 Chevy Suburban. That one, again, not part of that pack. That came with the Mustang and the Crown Victoria um, and a couple other things, the Bronco. But this one, nice kind of detailed engine, at least from a casting standpoint, no tampo work or paint. This is the Aeroflint. And Suburbans go back a very long time. So it's a very old nameplate. Last up from the old bunch is the Toyota FJ Cruiser. Now I never did find the blue one from the super fast line, but I finally was able to find this one for the moving parts. And I'll take it. Moving opening door. And it does, eh, it matches okay. They don't quite have the gloss right. Plastic and metal just don't look the same but it's nice to add an FJ Cruiser to the collection. Next up is the Morris Minor. Almost looks like the Mr. Miyagi car from Karate Kid. I almost thought that's what it was, but it is not. There we go. It has an opening hood. Now that is a detailed engine with tons of tampo work. They couldn't do that for the Suburban apparently. That's okay. It's a lot cuter and smaller of a casting. Maybe it was simpler to do. I really like the red interior. That's a stunning red interior. Next up is the 1980 Mercedes-Benz 480 SL, or 450 SL, excuse me. And, I think, oh, this is the sedan. I really like the brown interior. Blue and brown, this is a great color combination. They nailed it on this one. Good tampa work for the headlights. Tampa work on the rear. Both opening doors. This is probably one of my favorites. I like this. For some reason, I thought it was a wagon. I wasn't paying attention to it. You guys know me. I'm kind of aloof sometimes. I just pick stuff up and I don't really realize what I'm doing. We got 1984, sorry, 64 Chevy C10 pickup. I apologize if the lighting looks a little different from my normal videos. If you're new, this is not my normal getup. I am actually on the road. I am traveling and I'm trying to get content together for you guys. So to all of my new subscribers, my apologies if this is a little different to all of my old subscribers. You guys know the content. You guys know I'll have it back in running order as soon as I get home. But here we go, 62 Chevy pickup. Long bed. I believe we've seen this in the super fast, or actually, I'm sorry, not super fast, the collectors. And I didn't pick it up, but I really should have because it's a stunning casting. The last three are absolutely epic. We have the 1972 Volkswagen Beetle Dragster. My apologies for the glare. I am, have nothing to sit on, so I am standing over a couch and over the camera while filming all of this. It's a little difficult. We've got the Hot V Dubber. Funny car, check that out. Absolutely epic. That is super cool. Glad to add this to the collection. This was also part of the Matchbox Collectors. 
two castings, part of the Matchbox Collectors, I did not get. Next up is the Ford GT40. It was named that way because the ground clearance from the roof to the ground was 40 inches. That's why the newer GTs from 2005 and the brand new ones from like 2016 are not GT40s because that doesn't quite fit. This was a right-hand drive car though. Check that out. Nice red interior. Iconic number six opening engine with colored tampoed engine. Again, I guess they just couldn't do that for the Suburban. I love the knockoff wheels or the mimicking of the knockoff wheels with the three spoke. That is really good stuff. Last up is the Porsche 550 Spider in black. We've seen this in silver, which is a very iconic color. Now we have it in black. I guess the other one could be considered more of a grayish blue too. I guess it depends. And they've done well at tampering this one in the engine. When you set that down, nice cover. The Porsche logo is back there. And we also have the Porsche logo up front with the headlights. So there you have it. There are some of the brand new Mashbox moving parts that I was able to find on the pegs. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.